Hello, dear friends. This is Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad to share with you a word from the Word of God. And I thank God for it. And I pray that, I pray that you will today look unto the Lord for help wherever you are and know that God loves you and the Lord is your strength. I speak to you that are Christians that believe in the Lord Jesus. You're safe. I want to speak to you briefly uh, about a 10-minute message on the, the fact that we can gain strength from the Psalms. Strength from the Psalms. Reading from Book of Psalms, wonderful, wonderful book. Most of the Psalms were written by David, the king of Israel, and God's man after his own heart. And the Spirit of God moved upon him, and he penned these words for us. Here are some of the few, few of the verses that we'll read. One of them is in Psalm 39, the first chapter. And, I mean, the first verse, and it says, I will be careful and uh, not sin with my tongue. I'll put a bridle upon my mouth, that I may speak the truth. And so it's important that we talk and speak as we should. It's important what kind of words we use when we talk to people. It's important our conversation reveals what kind of person we are. Jesus said, out of the heart, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so we talk about that which is full, fullest in our heart. That which is in our heart, that which is most important, is what we talk about. So learn to speak the truth. And learn to speak as the Holy Spirit leads you. I will not sin with my tongue. I'll put a bridle on my mouth. Sometimes we have to stay silent when we want to speak out. And we, especially when we're in anger. Be careful. The best time to speak is when you're sober and serious and certainly not angry. The worst time you speak is when you're angry. So put a bridle on your mouth. Speak as God gives you the word. The Bible said, Jesus said, I'll give you a mouth and I'll give you wisdom. So trust the Lord to give you the right words and to give you wisdom to say the right thing. That's important. Over also in another psalm, we read in Psalm uh, 90, a very, very um, um, uh, good word. And it says there that we are to, we are to, <clears throat> um, seeing then that uh, our life is so short, we should be careful how we live. Life is so short. Life is so brief. And therefore, it's important that we number our days and account our hearts to wisdom. We ask God day by day to help us. I prayed this morning when I got up and I said, Lord, help me this day to live for you. Now, I can make plans for tomorrow, but then I'm to leave them and not live in them and think about them so much. I'm to live for this day, yea, even this hour. I praise God we know not what a day may bring forth. We must learn to live one day at a time. Learn to live like that, and God will bless, and he will be blessed. But we must learn not to get in a hurry and not to worry about the things that are going to take place. Especially don't worry about tomorrow. Jesus said, take no thought for tomorrow. It'll take care of itself when you get there. And so we see the truth of God's word, that we apply our hearts to wisdom, seeing our days are numbered and they are short. Oh, another, another scripture is found in Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. <clears throat> That's a good word. In other words, here he's saying, he that dwells in the secret place. What is the secret place? I think the secret place is Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Colossians that the Lord has, has given us a mystery to solve. And that mystery is solved by knowing that Jesus Christ is in you, the hope of glory. That's the greatest thing. The best thing about being a Christian is that Christ lives in us. Paul said, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. 
and dear Christian, Christ lives in you. And so therefore shine, because a city on a hill cannot be hid, it'll be seen. Even in the darkest night, it shines brighter. So look to the Lord and know you may be in a dark place right now. Shine for the Lord, dear friend, because the Lord is with you. And your light is going to be seen. And it's going to bless others. Others that you don't realize. Because God's working in ways that we do not always understand. So hold on and believe and know that he that dwells in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that's safety. There is security. There is peace. And there is joy in the shadow of the Almighty. Praise the Lord. And that's where you're dwelling, Christians. We're living under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. We're safe. We're secure. We have all we need in Christ, and we're on our way to heaven. So look up. Don't give up. Seek God, and he will seek you, and finding you, you will find him, and you'll walk with him. The next verse says, I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress. And there is safety in the Lord. The world cannot hurt you, for cause he that's in you is greater than he that's in the world. And sometimes when you feel hurt and you feel like you're going under and you feel like you're losing instead of winning, just stand still and wait on the Lord. Look up. Instead of looking down and around you, look up and know that God has said, I'll be your refuge and your fortress. You're safe. You're as safe as you can be. I be he's my refuge and my fortress. I will not fear what may happen to me. You're in God's hands, dear friend. You're safe and secure and God loves you. Hold on and go on because you're going not alone, but you're going with God. And the Lord is your help and hope and he'll be there forever. Praise the Lord. Over in Psalm, <clears throat> in uh, in the 91st Psalm, it says, Because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him. And I thank God that he delivers us. And so he says, I will deliver him and show him my salvation. And in closing, a word from Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Oh, he restores my soul. May the Lord bless you. And with these words, remember, surely goodness. Oh, he says, and I will not, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear, for you are with me. And so the day is coming, dear friends, when you and I are going to die unless Jesus comes before. And when we do, we don't need to be afraid. For death is not your enemy, it's your friend. It's the one that's going to usher you into the kingdom of God, into the presence of the Lord, and into the joy forever. And surely, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Strength from the Psalms. They're so good. The word of the Lord will feed your soul and you'll become stronger and you'll become brighter shining for the Lord and you'll walk closer loving him and loving others God bless you and give you strength for today bright hope for tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ pray this brief prayer if you need to if you want to be sure now that you're a Christian say dear God please forgive me I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart and help me live for you. Amen. Pray a prayer like that and you'll live forever. And you'll gain strength from the Psalms and from the Holy Word of God. Find you a good church and worship with God's people. And may the Lord bless you and keep you close to him.
He loves you and I love you. God bless. Amen.